so hey saints it's sister with a testimony and um i had to share this with you uh seriously check it out so <laughs> i am just the pizza delivery person i cannot put the fire out i cannot um help you clean up your messes I'm, I'm just the delivery person and and this is sometimes how I I personally feel when I'm delivering the pizza so to speak <laughs> the message is like that is funny you gotta admit it but here I am just the delivery person okay <laughs> I can't Clean up your mess, put out your fires, <laughs> discipline your children. I didn't have to make that pizza, didn't put it in the box. <laughs> you gotta receive the pizza, and once you receive the pizza, <laughs> then you're responsible for eating the pizza. Okay, so at any rate, Saints, um, it's, it's a funny, it's a ha ha, and um. I'm having fun just thinking about the pizza because I, I don't eat bread anymore. It's it's like toxic. So I'm trying to get my phone to work on this thing here. and It doesn't want to, but hey, maybe we can make make some sort of arrangement where it will work. But anyhow, again, uh, imagine the look on our eyes or in our in our eyes when. This is the preacher delivering the message. It's like, oh my gosh, what have I walked into? Totally, totally. What have I gotten myself into? <laughs> Sister with a testimony. Yeah, preachers can have fun too. Um, just stay away from the pizza. Just deliver the pizza. Okay, deliver it. So the scripture I have today for you guys, I just want to come and encourage you because you all have a word to deliver. You have word in you that you need to deliver, whether it's to your family, to your friends, to your boss. I don't know. You know, you need to deliver the word. And remember, the pizza delivery person, all you do is take the pizza, ring the doorbell and say, here I am. If they want to pay you for it, receive it fine. If they don't, that's fine too. But more than likely you ain't gonna get paid for the word anyhow that's not what this is about but the point is is you're delivering the pizza when you get to the house to deliver the pizza whatever is happening if there's a mess if there's chaos if there's a fire you weren't sent there to clean up the mess and put out the fire nor to eat the pizza just deliver it ezekiel chapter 2 for they are impudent children and stiff-hearted I do send thee unto them, and thou shalt say unto them, Thus saith the Lord God. Simple enough, saints. Verse 5, chapter 2, verse... That was chapter 2, verse 4. So I want to make sure we're in the right chapter here. And this is uh, chapter 2, verse 5 of Ezekiel. And they, whether they will hear, or whether they will forbear. For they are a rebellious house, yet shall know that there hath been a prophet among them. Verse 7, Ezekiel chapter 7, verse 2. And thou shalt speak my words unto them, whether they will hear or whether they will forbear. They are most rebellious. Yeah. Try taking that piece of, to the rebellious house. <laughs> See if you, yeah, never mind. Yeah, old boy there with the, the fire and the chaos going on. Yeah, God's warning the prophet here. If you go to chapter 3, verse 7, But the house of Israel will not hearken unto thee, for they will not hearken unto me. For all the house of Israel are impudent and hard-hearted. You ever feel like you go and you're just a pizza delivery guy, and you get all kind of backlash and retaliation, and they get all upset with you, and they just huff and puff and want to blow your house away? And you're like, dude, don't hyperventilate. Just, you know, 
this is the word of God, you know, I'm just saying, I didn't make this stuff up. So if you drop down to chapter three, verse 10, moreover, he said unto me, son of man, all my words that I shall speak unto thee, receive in thine heart and hear with thine ears. Saints, get the message, receive the message, deliver it to whoever the Lord sends you to. And go, get thee to them of the captivity unto the children of thy people, and speak unto them, and tell them, Thus saith the Lord God, whether they will hear, or whether they will forbear. So, I was thinking about this um, uh, pizza delivery thing here, and um, I have a, a friend that I've known for several years, and he's always encouraging me to deliver the pizza. He said, just deliver the pizza, Leslie. You don't have to eat the pizza. You don't have to sit and watch them eat the pizza. You don't even have to help them, you know, with the process of the pizza. If you understand what I'm talking about, there's a process. Once you deliver the pizza, you're not, seriously, you have nothing to do with any of that. Saint, just deliver the message. You might save someone's life. You might offend someone. Would you rather deliver the pizza and know that you've done your job or would you just pick the pizza up and carry it around with you and it gets cold and think about that if you're the pizza delivery person and you have the pizza you've picked the pizza up it's your job to deliver the pizza if you don't deliver the pizza I think you're in trouble because basically you've stolen the pizza. You have to take the pizza and deliver it in order to be compensated. Oh, think about that, saints. How many words have the Lord told you to deliver? And you're either afraid of offending someone or you're afraid they're not going to receive it or, oh, you know, let somebody else do it. You are a pizza thief. I don't know how else to put it other than you done stole the pizza and refused to deliver it. Yeah, Pizza Hut ain't ever going to hire you again. Domino's, you know, whatever pizza place you like. They, you stole the pizza, you won't deliver the pizza. Okay, why would God keep giving you word and you're a pizza hijacker? You won't deliver the word. If you go on to read in Ezekiel chapter, um, several chapters over, uh, you're going to find out that if you have their blood on your hand, you're going to be the one that's held responsible because you didn't deliver the pizza. Just deliver the pizza, saints. You have a word in you for someone. You have life in you. You have blessings in you. You have grace. You have mercy. But the greatest of all of those gifts that he talked about is love. Love your brothers and sisters enough to deliver. Okay? You're not in a popularity contest. You're not in a competition. You are in the army of the Lord. And if he gives you a pizza to deliver, deliver the pizza. Don't be a pizza hijacker. So anyhow, I just thought that was really cool. Like, yeah, I'm just the... I'm the pizza delivery guy. I'm not the maker of the pizza. I, I didn't touch the pizza. I didn't put the pizza in the box. Think about that. All I'm doing is delivering it. I love you. God bless you, saints. I want to encourage you. If you're the delivery person, deliver. And if the pizza delivery person comes to you to deliver, you can either receive or you can reject. You don't. If you don't like pepperoni, then don't receive the pepperoni pizza. You know? If they're telling you you're living in sin and you don't like to hear you're living in sin, you don't have to receive. You know, you just keep right on, wagon wheel, roll on. Keep right on in your sin. 
if they come to encourage you maybe they brought you a meat lovers pizza i don't know and hey yeah let's uh, i'm gonna receive that one but saying sometimes you might not get the pizza you ordered yeah okay god i want a meat lovers no pepperoni no, I don't want any meat today. I want a veggie pizza. How many kids don't like pizza at all unless it just has cheese on it? So today I want a cheese pizza. So okay, you call up, you order the pizza. Okay, Jesus. I want a new car. I want a new house. I want a new man. I want a new woman. I want more money in my bank account. And then the pizza delivery guy comes. And you don't get none of that. This ain't Burger King. You can't have it your way. You understand what I'm saying. God bless you. I love you. It's sister with a testimony. I plead and apply the blood of Yeshua Hamashiach over you to hide you, protect you, and keep you. Remember. I'm just delivering the message, saints. They're a rebellious house. They're stiff-necked. They're stiff-hearted. They're, they're ornery. You know, we've all been there, okay? Work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. And if the Lord sends you a pizza delivery guy, hey, it's up to you to receive it or to reject it. But just remember, don't shoot the messenger because you don't like the message. It's up to you to receive it or reject it. But I personally, I'm going to deliver the word. And if you receive it, you receive it. And if you don't, you don't. I was warned several times in Ezekiel. If they hear you, they hear you. If they do not, they do not. But he did go on. The Lord did say very specifically, they ain't going to hear me. They ain't going to hear you. But you still got to deliver the message, saints. You have testimony in you. You have word in you. You are a child of the Most High God. You have been anointed, appointed, and called, and commissioned, and petitioned, and all that good stuff. Just get up and go deliver the pizza, okay? I love you. God bless you. Ha.